Ain't that something? It gave us a little bit more time, so maybe it'll give us 25 minute increments. I don't know. But either way, when it cut off, that's when it cut off. So if y'all can deal with that, that's what it is, and I'll try to catch up where I was. But needless to say, mama, there's no nothing between you and I. I still adore you. Um, I, I, I still like you. All that other kind of stuff. It's none of that, girl. Ain't, uh, no man should come between two women, especially in that, with that as, as superficial as that. So that, that's, that's, mm -mm. no. And any time it ever get to a point where a woman has to put a man up to a point to make a decision, then the decision was already made for you to play the fool. You know what I'm saying? So, no. Don't ever allow a man to, you know, let, allow him to make a choice. You tell me what you want to do. Is it going to be her or me? Look, he already chose to say that, you know, he want to do him. Which means doing you, her, her, and another one that y'all might not even know about. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying you in this instance, but I'm just saying overall, in general. You know, anytime a man has a point of where he, you know, he's given a choice. The whether or not, okay, you let that bitch know what it is. I had a young lady... <coughs> On Facebook, this guy sent me a friend request. Guy that I met years ago. Oh my God, ten years ago. And um, he had sent me a friend request on Facebook, and I had accepted his request. Fine as a motherfucker. Oh my God, he is so sexy. And so, you know, all these many years have passed, and for him to send me a friend request, I was like, okay, all right, hey. <laughs> so um, he sends me a friend request and everything, and so. When I accepted his friend request, and um, I go on to his Facebook page, and he got all these pictures and up and everything, and he have a picture that I guess he's buying whoever he's with a, a ring or whatever and different things like that. And, you know, he's showing a picture of him and his girlfriend or whatever. And I could, I, the way it looked like, you know, they must have just started because when you go back in his pictures, the nigga was doing him. And then like a month ago, you know, he booed up. You know what I'm saying? Summertime here, nigga, I gotta get me one. Whatever way it went in the spring or the summer, I don't know. But now he got this woman and he, you know, displaying and all that stuff. Beautiful sister. Well, he had posted something about two weeks ago. and But this was before I had even known anything about this young lady or whatever. I didn't know anything about you, mama. Because when he sent me the friend request, he sent me a message with it. Because my, I have to put you, you go like on a little waiting list, okay, when you go to my Facebook page. So then therefore, you know, as people decide to unsubscribe to my Facebook page or, you know, if I take somebody off, you know, like I had to take this little African cat, I had to take this Nigerian motherfucker off my shit. That motherfucker got a little irate. So yeah, it was called dismissal, boot, now let's pull one off. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to do it like that, but... Anyway, he, when he had sent me a friend request, he had also sent me a message. And he was like, oh, my God, you were so good nowadays. And, oh, my God, let's catch up and yada, yada, yada. I never knew anything about him having a woman or anything. All I got was he sent me a message telling me, you know, oh, my God, I haven't seen you in years. You know, accept my friend request. I'm over here in the waiting list. Come, come holler at your boy. I accepted his friend request. Then at that point in time, that's when I'm seeing in the pictures, okay, this is what you got going on. Okay, now I know how to handle you or whatever. It's cool, you know. That We ain't got nothing. I respect that, you know. But he had, about two weeks ago, he had posted something on there. And I had made a comment. And I'd be damned if she didn't come back. Oh, well, well we thank you very much. And you're going to be seeing a whole, lot, a, whole, a whole bunch of us soon. And thank you for responding to my man. Wait a minute, that's what made me, remember I had to do a little, couple, little public service announcements, what was that? And I found the loudest motherfucker in the room was the weakest one. Bitch, I didn't ask you nothing. I, I didn't already seen what y'all was on that. And, the, and whatever it was that he was talking about, what I said was some generic shit in the first place. Bitch, don't show your insecurities. I ain't, I ain't trying to holler at your boy. I ain't y'all motherfuckers on the East Coast or somewhere or somewhere anyway. Come on now, mama. But either way, I guess this bitch better with your way. She was like, look. I just want to let you know that, you know, this is my man. I said, oh, my God. I didn't know that it, this kind of shit goes on. I'm tripping because I'm still coming from, if you call me, if a woman call me and say, excuse me, do you know my husband, Larry? Look, check this out. 
this gonna be the last call you gonna ever have to make cause whatever it is you trying to get up out of me nigga you got all that I am not getting ready to cover for no man you call me on the phone talking about well look check this out um your number was in my husband's phone and I just wanna know how you know I'm a yada yada cause I've been her I've been on the calling in. I've been one of the callers, okay? So, and to see women be like, don't call me. You better ask him. You better... Bitch, you sound stupid. What man is getting ready to just own up to some shit? Where they at? Oh, my God. Where them motherfuckers at that's just going to admit some shit? Not very many of them do. And the ones that do admit some shit, them the ones that you really better be careful about because them motherfuckers is telling you point blank, look, check this out. You are an option. Until we until we find somebody that we really want to fuck with, we're going to fuck with each other. Them real honest ones like that, they putting it out there. Look, I'm still single and this is it, man. Look, this dating era is in a whole different... I'm, nigga, I'm like a fish out of water. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? But the thing is, I'm so... I'm, I, I, um, I feel good to the fact that I am marketable to where I have options, you know, and I wouldn't have, I don't, I really believe that I would have had these options 10 years ago, okay? I don't think that I would be, you know, if I didn't make the changes in my life, I don't think that, you know, I would be able to be the, the woman that I am. I think that all that stuff that I went through and all that stuff, it made me to this. And so, um, it's like when I get out in the war, it's like I have all this armor on. Whereas, you know, certain things just kind of pounce off me or whatever, and I'm able to, you know, stick and move, so to speak. And then, too, another thing, too, I have a lot of male friends. I have more male friends than female friends. Them niggas probably wanted to fuck me at some point in time, probably not thought about it, too, whatever. But, you know, when I see that you have a woman or whatever, I'm one that's, okay, look, I respect that. Let's just be cool. You handle that. I'm, I don't want no part of that, and nor do I want to fuck you. Because once I figure out and realize that you got a wife, a girlfriend, or somebody that's wanting you to come home or wanting you to come through, what the fuck am I? Get up out of here. Nigga, if you don't go home right now, shit, because I ain't trying to disrupt nobody goddamn home. I don't need no motherfucking bad karma coming to my motherfucking this right here. None of that shit. So you ain't got to ever worry about me. You ain't never got to put me with, oh, she be taking niggas, man. Nah, that ain't, that's, I don't, I don't have to do that. I'm marketable enough to whereas, look, check this check this out. I can get a nigga on the line without a problem, okay? I don't, I don't even need to put no gas in my car to get no dick. How about that? You know, getting some dick is some, nigga, that's, nigga, that's peanut butter and jelly. That's like some, nigga, that's nothing, okay? Nothing. If that's what, if that's what the fuck I really wanted to do, nigga, I can give away more pussy than, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's just not my thing. I don't do strange flesh. I have a daughter. You know, I got some integrity. I got some morals, some values. All this shit means something to me. I don't went through too much for this one mother to just lay on my... Nigga, you ain't just gonna lay on me just like this right here. I got to feel something about you. I got to feel something with you. You know, we got to have done some things. And then all this right here, man, the hell no. Nah. Just to be doing it? That shit is crazy to me. I don't know nothing about that. I, I don't understand the language. I, I'm just, I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't disconnect that way. I can't fuck with our feelings. I'm one of those girls. So, needless to say, I had to let her know, Mama, that's all you right there. Because as long as you out here constantly policing their Facebooks, their phone calls, all that kind of stuff, you're going to always do that. I done been there and done that. Nigga, I was all on air touch pagers and shit. Nigga, 911 and bitches back. You know what I'm saying? 911, bitch call. I'll be like, okay. Excuse me, no, but th this is his wife, though. Okay, yeah. So, then therefore, no. I'm, I'm past all that. I don't I ain't in them races no more. Okay? I see a nigga get me one. There's no problem. I don't, have them, I don't have those issues. Not saying that I'm all that. I'm some of it, though. I'm a little bit of it. I ain't all of it, but I'm just a little, little bit of it, though. You know what I'm saying? And I, I made myself marketable enough. Yes, I'm in my 40s, but baby, I'm in my prime. My shit still works, still get high, still get motherfucking wet. I'm winning, okay? I'm winning. And, and then, too, 
uh, another thing that puts you in a different category when you're not in a, in a needy thing. Nigga, I need you to help me pay my bill. I need you to help me pay my car payment. I need you to help me keep my phone on. Nigga, I need I need a, a man to come over and help me with the goddamn kid. Man, I need you to help me, uh, you know, put some gas in my car. When you're not in that category either, it puts you in a whole different scale as well. You know what I'm saying? So not only do you become marketable aesthetically, but you also become marketable in your dependency as well. The words you're not all on the nigga about, okay, can, can, can you loan me $25? All that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So that also puts you in a different motherfucking category. And then when you have some shit, nigga, you... Man, look, as I done told y'all before, a big ass and hips nigga's equivalent to a master's degree. Nigga, if you got a, if you got a home, your own home that you own, Nigga, you got a doctorate. You understand me? You got a doctorate. Don't have no badass car out there to go with. You done minor than some other shit. Okay? Niggas can't understand that. And when you got that right there going on, getting the man in your life is an easy motherfucking thing to do. Please understand me when I tell you that. So to be trying to jump on somebody else's shit, I don't have to do that. I don't. And then, too, when your heart is pure and your soul is straight, you know, I understand, yeah, I, I blow. Some niggas don't really roll like that. You know what I'm saying? Some men don't like it. But, you know, some of them be like, well, for you, I'll make an exception. Yeah. I done had some say it. No problem. I don't get down, but, hey, baby, if that's what you, you know, hey, I got to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? No problem. But all I'm saying is, girls, all this bullshit, clean your faces. You ain't got to put all that shit on there. Do it when you get ready to go out. And when you hanging out with your girls and y'all doing y'all thing or whatever, going to go catch some niggas or whatever, put all that shit on. Do do that, because y'all motherfuckers be pretty as all get out. But when you become my age, you, some of us ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Some of us ain't doing that. So then therefore, you have to be able to make your canvas clean to where if you go without it, motherfuckers ain't scared. They ain't tripping out like, wait a minute, is that? Wait a minute, I think it is. Nah, that that's her cousin. Nah. You don't want that. You understand what I'm saying? So then therefore, have your fun, but also stay clean, stay respectful, and stay moisturized. You're going to have to do that. Because when you get, and stay out the way. But when, because when you get to be my age and shit, and you want to now just parlay and kick it. You know what I'm saying, nigga? If you don't bite on this motherfucker, keep, keep it pushing. Yeah. Hell yeah. And speaking of which, let me roll this into this. Mr. Ten Years, you know. You know, we converse back and forth and everything. You know, I really like him. I do. We fit each other very, very well. You know what I'm saying? That nigga on that pound, 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 it was no problem. Nigga had me all over the wall. No problem. Some penitentiary shit. That motherfucker had my shit all this on that way, this way. I said, oh shit, nigga. Wow. You know what I mean? But guess what, though? The nigga don't eat no pussy. God damn. I said, oh, my God. Nigga, you wasn't doing that 10 years ago. And I thought maybe you done graduated or somebody done showed you what that do. It's fucked up that you done had a bad experience. But damn, to be still on that okie doke, nigga, I can't fuck with you on that level. I'm sorry. I'm going to need me one of them. I'm just telling you. Okay? I'm, that's, what, I'm, that's what the fuck I'm gonna need. It's part of the terms and conditions fucking with me. If that ain't your get down, nigga, I'll see you later, bye. We could be cool. We could be friends. Me and him are friends. He called me yesterday. I was at the motherfucking jazz festival. He's like, well, how come you didn't call me? I would've went with you, yada, yada, yada. Nigga, you ain't no pussy, nigga. You just ain't doing it. You know what I mean? So, I understand you got some hesitation, some reservation on that thing right there. No problem there, nigga. I know where to put you at. But... Do you, are you near and dear to my heart, nigga? Oh my God, I could really see myself on some real other shit level with you. But with that right there, nigga, it's like, ah, nigga, fuck me up. I was like, oh my God, oh shit. Because when we talked about it and you had a little hesitation about it, but I'm talking to you and I'm looking at you in your face. Because when I have certain questions to ask a man, I can't ask him over the phone because I need to see your whole get down when I ask you. The highs and lows in your voice. I got to see if you're going to start doing one of these. If you're going to do this. If you're going to tug at your collar. If you're going to move around. going to switch around. Because one thing about me, I pick up on those energies. 
And you don't have to say yay or nay, but one thing about me, I can decipher deception. My clairvoyance and all that shit is on 10, okay? So you can't fuck with me like that. And that's why I don't have a problem with cutting a motherfucker loose without hesitation and don't even say that. I don't say that, and I just vacate the premises, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I don't want to blast you out. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't want to let you know that I found out about you. I already know you already. I already know your kind. So in instead of me going through those exchanges, and then you now you're lying to me, which is really now fucking up your integrity level with me, I just, nigga, okay, all right. You know, now you're getting voicemails, and now you're getting... You know, text mail, text messages and shit that ain't getting, you know what I'm saying, returned. Because it's like, I just don't want to tell you that, you know, your integrity kind of fucked it up with me. You know, and that's everything. If your energy ain't right, if the shit don't feel right, it ain't right with me. That's just the way that I am. So, that's what's up on him. But, uh, who else? <laughs> um... I get a phone call this morning. Well, I've been getting these messages for the past couple weeks. The baby's birthday was here just last week. And to tell you the truth, his birthday and the youngster's birthday is the same day, which is July 11th. Cancer men, oh my God, I love them. They, man, we fit well. Anyway, this guy that I used to talk to way back, 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 back in the day. And matter of fact, the day of my mother's death, we were coming from New Jersey. We was on the little bridge coming over, and I, him and I were together in the car when my son called me, and Tony called me to let me know that my mom was had passed. I didn't want to say the other word, but when I got those news, he was the one that I was with that day. And um, so anyway, you know, he's been sending me messages on my Facebook and stuff. You know, want to link up, want to hook up. Let's go take a cruise. Let's go hang out, you know. And he lives in New York. And so, um, you know, he's like, Tina, I'm so ready to settle down and yada, yada, yada. You know, he sees my polls. And uh, uh, according to this morning, I know you watch my videos, but apparently you do. Um, but, and, you know, I adore you. I really do. I really, really adore you. I I do. You know, we have some history. I, we, we shared a moment that I will never, ever, ever, ever forget. You know, to get that call right there. I remember the day. I remember the, the time of day. You know, not totally precisely, but I can give a roundabout figure that I will be within an hour of that. I remember what I was wearing. And, you know, we were in your truck and we were going over the bridge. And I'm, I'm just crazy. So anyway, so he calls me, you know, he's been calling me for the past, you know, we've been talking throughout the years and everything, but, you know, um, you kind of pissed me off some years back, and I've been holding that all this many years, and that is the reason why, you know, um, I didn't really fuck with you like that. Now, um, he's also in a little music. I mean, I'm just leave it like that. So as you travel back and forth throughout the years, you know, we've conversed and all that kind of stuff. And we just kind of left it like that. But now um, that uh, <laughs> now you want to make something happen, which, I mean, that's cool. But I know that you've been watching my Facebook. You're on my Facebook. You're on my everything. And it's like, um, you know. I don't know, but I'm glad that, you know, I mean, do you see how much I've grown? Like, anyway, but uh, I missed you. I've missed you for so many years of my life, and I, I mean, you're just cool as fuck, you know? It's just the fact that you're on the East Coast, I'm on the West, and what the fuck can we do, really? You want to take a cruise? Yeah, we can take a cruise. I'm, I'm down with it, you know what I mean? Catch up, you know? And, um, but, um, yeah. So I got that phone call this morning, and yesterday as I was at the jazz festival and stuff, and he was texting me yesterday, and um, yeah. So I don't know, y'all, girls. I'm just, I'm just, and I'm, I'm just, I'm nigga. I'm just in some gumbo. You understand me? I'm on some gumbo shit. I'm having fun with it. I look, look, check this out. I ain't getting talked about or nothing. I'm doing it on my motherfucking terms on how I want to. That's a difference. When you're doing it how you want to do it as opposed to getting dealt with. Now, I'm not I'm not getting dealt with. 
That's what I'm not going to do. I done been through too much shit to get dealt with. The fuck I'm going to... What? They got to have a husband. How the fuck I'm going to go through some shit with somebody else? You know what I mean? I ain't got no time for that motherfucking shit. You get up out of here with that. You know? And at this stage in my in my life, in this stage of the game too, I ain't got time for no foolishness. You come at me with some shenanigan, nigga, I'm just gone. Because I ain't got time for it. I, I, I really don't. I, I mean, not to say that, you know, oh, well, bitch, you think you... No, I don't think I'm none of that. But it's just the fact that you get a point, to a point in your life where you just ain't got time for bullshit. You just ain't got time for it. And that's just where I'm at. I, I realize that there's a lot of women that are real, you know, shall I say, I'll just say this, okay with, you know, a, a piece of man is better than no man at all. Okay, I got that. I'm just not going to be, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not, I never found myself to be one that was ever part of a group anyway. I never really had a, a real strong clique. So I've, I'm so used to being by myself, traveling by myself, doing a lot of things by myself. So, I, nigga, I talk to my own motherfucking self. I'm my own very best friend. Man, man, I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't got no problem with it. And therefore, I ain't got to worry about all four of us bitches getting in the car and who pussy stinking. Somebody's pussy is stinking in this motherfucker. Now, we done got in and out and I got a whiff of something and I know that it ain't me. PH is balanced. Somebody in this motherfucker, and then somebody in the back, girl, can I borrow $5? And then this one over here ain't got gas money. And this one over here, girl, can, but can you take me by Tyrell's house because he's supposed to give me $25 and he was supposed to give me. And then this one right here ain't got, you know what I'm saying, can't put in on the gas. And this one right here needs some help. Man, look at here. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that, you know, and I'm certain it'd be fun, you know what I'm saying, dealing with a whole bunch of girls like that and everybody in the car, we trying to go out or whatever. I, that's probably so fun, but I don't know. I, I, it's like, I'm just, I guess I'm a loner. I don't know. But I enjoy, I enjoy being so candid with you guys. I got so many virtual girls all over this motherfucker, man. I got some, some girls in my head that we are the best of motherfucking friends, like, like for real. Because in my real life, in my personal life, I'm so paranoid of a motherfucker trying to take something. Well, not told so much paranoid. I'm not paranoid for me. I'm paranoid for that motherfucker. Because I, I, I'm to the point of where it is now. I got what I need to lay a motherfucker out. Because at this point in time, I take all my shit serious. I take my life and my kid's life and what I own very seriously. And if you get to a point of where you ain't really fucking with nobody, and if you, something is coming and you get invaded into your personal space... Nigga, I'm going to take that as a motherfucking threat and I'm going to stand my ground and you already know the rest. I ain't got time for it. Okay? That's all I'm just trying to tell you. I ain't got time for it. I don't want to be out in the streets fighting no bitches. I don't want to be... I don't want to be none of those type of shit. I'm on some zen. Can we do zen? Can we just do zen? Okay. So... Anyway, girls, let me go on and get up off of this one. I got to go out and, and water my stuff. I got to put some shock in. And, um, what else? I want to catch up with my daughter because she went to Magic Mountain yesterday. So, I want to see how her day went. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I shared what I could. I gave you guys a lot. <laughs> but we are going to come back home from time to time. And I do need to do waterworks too because I do want to put you guys up on that. Um, what did I wear yesterday? this dress and one young lady walked up behind me so she said she said girl you are wearing that dress but when you get home cut the tag out because I guess my the tag was you could see the tag oh it's all motley and shit that's for me hugging folks but this is the dress that I had on yesterday and so I didn't make it, it I bought it and so and it had the tags and it's um let me show you what size it is can you see that? It's a medium. It's a medium. This don't have no zoom, so it's a medium. So, but, you know, I wanted to wear some color. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to bring some color, some cheer. We've been having some trying days, some trying times, you know. You know, the, 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 the gift of life is no longer a gift anymore. Motherfuckers is just taking it just... Man, taking life for granted and people are just 
killing people and it's just so much shit going on and you know anyway my condolences to all of the families everybody you know all lives really matter but I understand that you know motherfuckers are saying but our lives right now are the ones that's in question so I understand that too um so but um you know, my heart is full with it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going CNN. I watch news all day. Yes, 